This is the second video of the Balance of Payments series, which is Unit 3.3 of the IB Economic Syllabus. In this video, I'm going to explain the four components of the current account, and I'm going to distinguish between a current account deficit and a current account surplus. So let's get started. So the current account consists of four components. The first one is the balance of trade in goods, where the country records its exports of goods and then subtracts from it the money spent on imports of goods. So X, um, if you remember from the ADAS unit, X refers to exports and M, M, ref, M refers to imports. So the balance of trade in goods is the first component. It's equal to the export of goods minus the import of goods. The balance of trade in services is next. So all exports of services minus all imports of services. The third component is income. So WIRP refers to wages, interest, rent, and profit. So WIRP, wages, interest, rent, and profit. So these are all the incomes of the factors of production. Um, WIRP received, so the receipts of WIRP, that's money flowing into the country from overseas. So say, for example, there are citizens that are living overseas that are sending their wages um, back home or local citizens have investments overseas that are sending interest back to the country. Minus all WIRP paid to overseas countries. That's the third component. The last component is current transfers. So all current transfers received minus all current transfers paid. What are current transfers, you might ask? So transfers are, uh, tra uh, are w receipts of money that are given with no good or service in exchange. So a very good example is like grants, donations. Um, say there's been a hurricane and the country's received donations from uh, the international community. Official development assistance, so aid between governments. These are all current transfers. These are the four components of the current account. The balance of trade in goods, the balance of trade in services, the balance of trade in goods, the balance of trade in services, um, the income balance, and then the current transfers. So once you add the balance of trade in goods, so exports of goods minus import of goods, plus the balance of trade in services, exports of services minus imports of services, plus the income balance, so WIRP received minus WIRP paid, plus the current transfers, transfers received minus transfers paid, it will give you either a positive um, final value, that means the current account is in surplus. So if all of this added up together returns positive, that means there's more money flowing into the country from overseas for um, exports of goods and services, and there's more uh, income received in current transfers than the country's paying out. If the balance, the final balance is negative, we say there's a current account deficit. So that means there's more money flowing out of the country or being paid to overseas countries for these things than there is flowing into the country.